Interview 2792 Dodge Street. Interview SCP 2792. Refer to Sarah. Interviewer Doctor. Hello, Sarah. You ready to talk? We have some questions for you. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's start from the beginning. Take your time with this. Do you know how much time passed since you were under Prometheus's care? Yes. I know I died on the 28th of March, year 1960. It's been roughly 38 years. Good, good. You're doing great. You said that you were directly handled by Dr. Alba. How much do you know about them? They aren't human. They made claims to be some kind of immortal reality vendor. I can confirm the immortal part, but nothing outside of that. One time, the sick slit their throat just to freak me out. Outside of that, no. They're apparently a medical doctor. One who Prometheus trusted enough to take care of me. Besides Alba, were there others who hurt you? You said that they were an immortal? Do you think there are others like that? No. Alba was the only one. Prometheus wanted me in a coma for the entirety of my stay. But that's it. And I don't know how many people were like that bastard. I saw what White did to them. She made them just disappear. Just like that. So I think something is up with her too. Was Alba interrogating you? And were you the only one being treated this way? Were you the only person under care? No. As far as I know, no. Do you think they know any sensitive information regarding the Foundation? White might. Alba, I doubt. Any idea why you're in your current state? Not really. It looks like me, I suppose. It works sort of like a... possessable phylactery that I'm bound to. If I'm going to be honest, I feel more comfortable like this, more so than when I was prior. I don't quite know how to describe it. To be frank, I think this was just Stacy's way for them to get me back. Speaking of, why do you think Prometheus did this to you? I don't know. This isn't normally how they do things, is it? You'll have to ask the administrator. I know this will be hard for you, but what did Alba do to you exactly? Take your time. They, um... They started out by putting me on this drug. I was completely paralyzed, but I felt every single thing they did. Once they figured I was awake, they knocked the wind out of me, ripped out my IV, and threw me across the room. My arm felt like they jerked. They fixed me up each time, but it only got worse. They even started recording everything for God knows why. They brought a baton with them one day, and thankfully, that's what got them caught. Yeah, we saw. What do you think Alba was doing this for? I was thinking about the same thing. One day, they said they were doing all of this out of revenge, because they thought I was something named Sari. They told me Sari punished them. For what? I don't know. But knowing what they're capable of, they probably deserved it. That was all I had. Thank you, Sarah. You did great. We'll let you know if we need anything else. Don't mention it. But I'm still not over Stuart. Why won't you tell me anything about him? Is he dead? I need to know. You owe me that. Stuart... Stuart went through some changes. He died and was resurrected, like you. He got classified as an SCP. Oh. Oh. What happened? He was created in Prometheus Labs but something impersonated you while he was there. Oh no, could you vouch for me? We could and would, but we just mm, don't know how yet. She hit him in a very emotional place, so we don't know how he'd react to learning about you. Just, just tell him. Tell him what I told you. Hell, give him my file, please. I'll see if I can. Head log. Surveillance log 2792-4. Forward. On January 5, 2007 hours, Prometheus Administrator Agatha White enters SCP-2792's room. The following was found on Dr. Alba's computer, recorded via camcoder. 
begin, though. Dr. White enters the room and sets her purse down by the door and approaches SCP-2792-1. Hey, Sari. How are you holding up? You probably can't hear me. And even if you did, you probably don't remember me. I just wanted to swing by, since your time here is about to end. Hell, Prometheus is about to end. You'll see so wear it soon. Yay, right? I'm sorry I haven't been here for you for the good part of four decades. I'm terrible, I know. I was just so busy, you know? Especially lately. I've been preparing. Making losses as tiny as possible. Plus, if I'm going to be honest, I can't adjust. Didn't want to see you like this. It's why I handed the whole thing off to Alba and never looked back till now. Anyway, I'll get back to it. Love you. She sets some papers down the desk, but pauses. Wait, what's this prescription? Why did they prescribe you this rant? Wait, what? Dr. White looks down and picks up a baton from under the desk. Afterwards, she begins to search the room, reading files, and going through Alba's computer, appearing increasingly disturbed. Oh, Alba? Hello. Forward. The following is the last recording regarding SCP-2792 before Prometheus's collapse on January 9, 98. This log was found inside the container SCP-2792 was recovered in. See Addendum 2792-1. Log begins with Dr. Alba returning from vacation, locking the door behind him. Begin, Log. Hello, Princess. Good to be back. Good to be back. Well. Let's get your shots out of the way. Dr. Alba moves toward the medicine cabinet and collects several bottles and syringes, bringing them to SCP-2792-1. Dr. White unlocks and enters the room with two guards. Oh, hello, Administrator. What are you doing here? Nothing. Just to inform you that you no longer work with Sari. You're done. Oh? So I suppose that means Stu's dead? Soon, soon. But it's not the reason why I'm here. If it was, I wouldn't be here. Then why are you here? You know damn well why. Repeated abuse of a patient, and God knows what else. Don't even get me started on what you did in... Slaver? Oh. You know about that, huh? Yes, I do. God. No one would swear than Sari ever knew, did they? There were a couple of people, and don't talk me about what I did. Everyone was guilty or something then, and you know it, hypocrite. I'm not gonna sit here and pity myself over what I did back in. I don't regret a single person captured, sold, eaten, whatever. I accept the pain I caused. It was hell, and I did what I had to to survive, as did you. So? Go ahead, fire me. I had something else in mind. In law. Closing statement. At the end of this law, the room went dark, and their actions could not be made out. A gasp can be heard from Alba, but no other significant sound was detected. When the light came back on, Dr. White and her guards were the only ones visible. Dr. White then adjusts her tie before turning off Dr. Alba's camcorder. Dr. Alba was not found after the collapse. Discharge Summary 2792-5 Discharge Summary Grafter 004 Patient Name Crowley Sarah FKA Sari ID 10009856347366 Date Admitted March 27 1960. Date discharge. December 8, 1998. Time. 0945 hours. Status. Patient is in worse condition than the administrator was led to believe. While she is certainly healthy in terms of physical well-being, she has suffered severe pain and mental scarring at the hands of Dr. Alba. Dr. Alba is currently being handled by administrator Agatha White who is reinflicting the punishments assigned to them in 
Instructions, Recommendations, Plan. Patient is to be handed to the SCP Foundation, as future care in Prometheus Lab will be highly programmatic. She, along with Stuart Hayward, will be fully updated on their past lives before insurgence has begun. Together, they will decide on their future actions and how they wish to respond to insurgents. Disciplinary Order 2746-237 With no regret We execute Alba's punishment for their atrocities towards our people. Alba serves as an oracle of They were of little worth. We wish to say that their services were useful in better days. However, they were not. Prior to their current state, Alba took advantage of those less fortunate than them. Their punishment is deserved and few will miss them. Prior to their current state, they had captured and organized the selling and trade of their brothers and sisters for purposes of harvesting and engagement. Alba was discovered in the act of selling one of their brothers to a defect member of the Furies. The following orders, in lieu of crucifixion and relocation to the Underplane, have been commissioned for Alba's punishment. Alba's tongue is to be removed so that they can no longer spread their lies or charm those they wish to deceive. They are to be butchered in a similar fashion to the way they have butchered others, cut, sliced and amputated. Their flesh is not to be eaten so that we can set an example, to show that even through desperation, we are not like them. Each butchered piece of them are to be spiked and chained apart, as opposed to burn or eaten. This is so that they may know the bondage that they have bestowed upon others. In law. Fate seems to wave a tangled web with the past, ensnaring Agents Crowley and Hayward and the SCP Foundation itself. It's evident that the Foundation, in its relentless pursuit of anomalous knowledge and potential benefits, has allowed more powerful forces to gain a foothold. This insatiable greed and corruption ultimately led to the downfall of similar organizations, including the Prometheus Foundation. While numerous questions remain unanswered, we will continue to unearth the Foundation's secrets in order to safeguard humanity and ensure the world's normalcy. Join our cause by leaving your comments and suggestions for future entries below. I am Biosdis Anonimo. We at the GOC, and you have been informed.